Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Up Comedy Up back with another Dokkan Battle video. And today, I want to tell you guys about all of the JP story events that aren't yet available on Global, but that we should eventually get at some point in the future. And what I'm going to do in this video is just give you guys a brief overview of each of these events so that you'll have a good idea of what they look like when they eventually come out. And maybe at some point in the future, I'll make a separate video going into more details about each of these free-to-play units that come with these events as well because some of them are very, very good. But today, in the interest of trying to keep this video fairly concise, we're going to leave that part out. So without further ado, guys, let's jump right into it. And the first event we're going to cover in today's video is the Copy Vegeta event. And it's called Vegeta Disappears, The Secret of Planet uh, Potafu? Pataofu? Something like that? I don't know, it's been such a long time since I've seen this episode that I completely forgot the pronunciation, but I'm sure you guys get the point. And you know what? Let's just go with Copy Vegeta Event, alright? <laughs> so, we got the Copy Vegeta Event here. It first came out on JP on March 18th of 2019, and the increased drop or boost category is the Artificial Life Forms category. And of course, there are two new free-to-play units that can be acquired from running this event. We have the AGL Copy Vegeta, as well as a brand new STR Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. And that's freaking awesome, but like I said, I'll go into more details about what each of these units do in a future video, but for the time being, I'll just leave it at that. And then moving forward, what I'm gonna do for you guys now is give you a tally of all the free-to-play Dragonstones that you can expect to get from running this event because I know that free-to-play stones are very, very important to you guys. So let's get it started. We have one, two, three, four total levels to this event and two difficulties per level for a total of eight dragon stones right there from the levels. And then beyond that, we have one, two, three, four, five, six stones from the missions. So we add those up, six plus eight, 14. <laughs> That took way too long, man. 14 free-to-play Dragon Stones in total for the Copy Vegeta event, including the missions. And on top of that, we also have these new pacifier items that can be exchanged in the Baba Shop for some Copy Vegeta medals, some Elder Kais, some other medals, some training items, Hercule statues, all that good stuff. Nothing too crazy, but it's always nice to have. So. That's all I really gotta say about the Copy Vegeta event, guys, and that is the first event we have. And the next one is gonna be the Universe 6 event that came with Tech Hit on JP. And um, I know this might spark some, you know, global shafted JP versus global debates. I don't wanna get into that right now, but it is a fact that when Tech Hit came out on global first, global exclusive, um, we did not get this event, and then when JP got Tech Hits banner, they got this event with four, four farmable free-to-play Universe 6 units. It's just kind of funny that way. Anyways, it's called the Gathering of Universe 6's Warriors, and um, it came out on April 1st of 2019. The increased drop category is Universe 6 category, and there were four free-to-play units to recruit, like I said, a physical hit a uh, Tech, Salonel, Salonel, and Perina, I think that's how, you, that's how you pronounce their names, and uh, there's also a STR Champa and a uh, AGL Vados, all right? And then we have one, two, three, four, four different levels, two difficulties per level, eight Dragonstones right there, and one, two, three, four, five, six Dragonstones from the missions for once again another 14 total stones for this event. And um, I will also go into more details about these guys too in a future video, but for the time being, uh, all you gotta know is this event's pretty freaking awesome. Gives you a lot of, lot of farmable units, and um, yeah, there you go. So that's the Universe 6 event that came with Tech Hit. And then moving on from there, we have this um, Namek, Namek Saga event, and it's called Quiver, the Final Battle versus Frieza. And honestly, this is probably my personal personally most anticipated story event from JP that has yet to come to global, mainly because of this guy right here, the physical second form free-to-play Frieza. 
that I got that name mixed up. Free to play second form Frieza. And uh, the main reason I want him so bad is because he's really, really good. He gets Extreme Z Awakening um, immediately, basically, after you farm him. So on top of the fact that we get like the stones and stuff from this event, there's also his Extreme Z Awakening that's associated with it. That's also another 30 plus free stones. So it's just a really nice deal overall, and we should be getting this event when we get the uh, transforming STR Namek Goku at some point. So this event came out on JP on May 31st, 2019. There's no increased drops, which is very interesting for a new event because these days, you kind of just expect a category boost for new story events, but I guess that's not the case here. But either way, um, this guy's really, really awesome. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, 10, 11, 12, 12 stages and two difficulties per stage except for uh, level 10. So uh, you basically do 24 minus one, so that's 23 free to play stones in total for the levels, which is quite a bit. And then you go over to these missions, three, four, five, a total of five per mission. So you do 23 plus five, 28. 28 total dragon stones from this Planet Namek Saga or you know Goku versus Frieza events with the free to play second form Frieza and as exciting as that is I'm honestly more excited for this Frieza because he's just so good man he's um, gotta be he must be the best free to play attack all unit out there and I can't wait to get my hands on him so yeah very very hyped for this one and there you go. So that's event number three. And the next one we're gonna talk about is uh, a new enemy, the Androids Appear event. And this is the one with the Int Yardrat Goku. So it came out on July 11th of 2019. You can recruit the Int Yardrat Goku with the super, super cool uh, counter mechanic. And the increased drop for this category is, or the increased drop category for this event is the Androids category. And one other cool thing is that uh, using the medals from this event, you can actually Dokkan Awaken the STR, like the super, super old STR Android 18. And this has got to be one of my favorite card arts in the entire game. If you guys are long-term fans, I'm sure you understand why. And that's all I really got to say about that. Let's move on to the stones now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight levels for 16 total stones and one, two, three from the missions. So that's 19 total free to play dragon stones for the uh, Androids event. And last but not least, the final event that we have yet to get on global is the uh, cell, uh, base form cell event. Well, I guess you can just say new cell story event in general, and it's called the mysterious monster cell appears. And it first came out on July 30th, of 2019 on JP, which is literally just a couple days before I made this video. And you can get a new base form free to play Vegeta from running this event. And the increased drop or boost category is the Vegeta's family category. And as far as Dragonstones go, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight levels, but minus one for stage six since it's only one difficulty. So that's 8 times 2, 16 minus 1, that's 15 dragon stones from the levels. And on top of that, we have 1, 2, 3, 3 more stones from missions. So what I say, 15 plus 3, 18 free to play dragon stones from this new cell event. And of course, this Vegeta is pretty awesome too. So um, that pretty much covers it. But there is one more thing I wanted to talk about before we get out of here. And that would be the Dragon Ball Super Broly event. And I know. We got this a while ago on Global, but there is something very important that is missing from this event that we have on Global right now. And that, of course, is this base form STR Gogeta. And he can be acquired on level, let's see, level 11. Level 11 on JP only, though. So we don't have him yet. We don't have this update for this event on Global. I have no idea when it's happening, but I want this guy really, really bad. I'm sure you guys share that sentiment. So uh, any Bandai spies out there, yo, did you forget about the base form Gogeta or Global or something? Cause it's been a long time we have this event. We just need the addition of the Gogeta now. So 
Um, yeah, please, please make it happen. Bandai Spies. But <laughs> that's going to do it for today's video, guys. I've pretty much, I believe, covered all of the missing story events that JP has right now that Global doesn't have yet. And um, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hope you guys found it informative in some way. And of course, before you go, let me know in the comments down below which of these story events that I covered in today's video are you the most hyped for? And also, which free-to-play unit are you the most excited to get your hands on? Like I said, for me personally, it's got to be the second form Frieza. I think he just looks absolutely insane with that Extreme Z Awakening. And I love his mechanics. I love that his active skill is called Pleasurable Frieza Time, which just makes him even more awesome. And yeah, I can't wait to use him. But that's all I gotta say, guys. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.